Hey, back at it once again, once again. Welcome back to Warren G707 TV. And I, the hot topic for today is, ladies, can y'all guess what it is? Eyelashes. You know why? Because when I went to the store today and I'm going to go get me something to eat and I see this female walk up to the damn register and her eyelashes is falling off her damn eye, her face, looking like a damn fool. What is going on today? You guys, oh my God. I mean, they, they this long though. Okay, I can understand if they reasonable, but they this long, you can fly like a damn dragon. You a damn dragonfly? What the hell going on today? Cut that shit out. Looking like a damn fool. Shit. All right, let's get to this reaction. Let's go. Over at Fox Fur, instead of selling cool, bloody lashes, they even have them at the exact same price or cheaper, and they have a few styles and Fox option. Meaning, if you want the style Miami, you can totally get it without paying for the death of an animal. But come on, it's all about the money, especially since big celebrities have promoted them. The mink lash industry is exactly the same as the fur industry. There exists no mink farm where they are allowed to roam free, going against the mink's natural way. Website after website, they tell you, they collect the fur by gently brushing the mink or by collecting the fur once their season of shedding is over. But that is the stupidest BS ever. Mink are extremely violent creatures, so there is no way you can on your face. by gently brushing them or collecting the fur once they shed it off. On your eyes? Or in fur farms, minks are confined in small wire cages. Minks roam several miles a day. <laughs> Oh, man. Damn. That's what the hell the lashes is made out of? Wow. That's crazy. I wonder, y'all still gonna put that shit on your face? 